Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Today is Saturday, December 25th, 2021. Week 160. Wow. Wow. We are here. We are here. The year is almost over. I can't believe you have your shirt on. Oh, I got my meow, bitches. <laughs> yeah. That's how I'm wearing today. <laughs> it's Christmas. Just kind of hanging out at home. Not going anywhere, doing anything. So Yeah. Just enjoying the day. And we, we have. It's a we very have. different Christmas. Um, yeah. Well, we're still getting over getting sick. Um, I ended up having to get a chest x-ray, found out I had pneumonia, um, mm -hmm. on some antibiotics to try and kick that out of me. Uh, I just feel like I've gotten beat up this last month, <laughs> but hopefully we'll come out of it on the other side and start the new year off yep. feeling a lot better. Yeah, that's, for that's, sure. It's my goal. It's my hope. It's my dream. It's my desire. <laughs> well, you're my desire, but you Aww. know. But, uh, yeah, I woke up this morning. I told Stace, I said, I got everything I need and want with you girls. So, yeah, I don't need anything. I don't want anything. Although I did get a really, really cool. Uh, it's not out here. I got a really cool um, Star Wars um, Stormtrooper coffee mug from my daughter, Lauren. And I mm -hmm. love it. It's yep. Best gift I've gotten in years. Because usually what happens is I have a pair of socks that are brand new in the closet. <laughs> and every year they get taken down out of the closet, rewrapped and re-given to me. Like, oh, it's kind of a joke. I get the same pair of socks year. every year <laughs> because they just sit in the closet. We buy them in bulk because sometimes they're yeah, hard to find. In the bigger size from yeah. 14 to 16. But yeah, so so I've gotten the same pair of socks probably five years in a row. And the kids <laughs> don't even know the difference. But um, yeah, so it was kind of funny. Yeah. But no, I really, truly love my little Star Wars cup. Yeah. Well, hey, let's get some numbers. Last week, I was 335.4, technically. And uh, this morning, I woke up, I was 336. So I'm up like half pound, one pound, whatever you want to call it. Yep. So that's where I'm at. But I am feeling better, and I am eating better. Uh, yesterday, we had a nice Christmas ham. Eve dinner. Yeah. We had some ham and stuff. So enjoyed that. Maybe, I, maybe I'm holding on to like a half pound of ham in my belly or something. But we were nibbling on it before yeah. it cooked. During the cooking and in it, of course, after, you know, so. Yeah, we had it. an early dinner. Oh, well, let me get to mine. So yeah. last week I weighed in at 153. This morning I weighed in at 153. I really am going to work hard. I figure out, yeah, I'm going to finish out the end of the year. It is what it is. And then gasp. I gasp? might actually uh, try tracking again. Um, this perimenopause. <laughs> I know this perimenopause is killing me. My whole body is just different and and the surgeries and the medicines and recovery and in in the sickness and uh, it has fresh been start. A, it has been a weird ending to this year mm -hmm, and, for uh, sure yeah there's just a lot going on with the yeah yeah just so not feeling good. hopefully things are going we started off the morning we had an early dinner yesterday um so we could have christmas <sighs> <laughs> this morning with Julia, and then we took her to hang out with her sister at her apartment. Um, she wasn't comfortable coming home. We're not comfortable coming home, being being around Bill because he's still not feeling fantastic, and we don't want Lauren to get sick. Julia, we all tested, and we are still negative. I wasn't. He wasn't. Because I'm still trying to get over all this. Right. But, uh... Uh, but the two girls were, so... Um, mm. They had planned on being here for Christmas and then afterwards go back to Lauren's apartment um, for New Year's. Uh, so we just backed it up a little bit because I didn't want Lauren to be home for Christmas by herself. Yeah. And we got a bunch of groceries. And then, of course, we had leftovers from the dinner. And then we had a bunch of gifts to give to Lauren. So when Stacy went over to take Julia to visit and to stay for a few days, she was able to bring her like you know a whole grocery list full of things, like <laughs> everything from... Kleenex to quarters for the laundry machine to uh, facial pads to for astringent <laughs> and just all kinds of a variety of things and then just a ton of food you know eggs milk cheese even got them some treats like some pop and some yeah. for them treats are like Doritos and cookies and stuff but a lot of main things to make meals out of too so salads so and we know they're eating and... really well for the next week here you know yeah while she's there and everything and uh, despite having pneumonia. And uh, I've, I've been on my antibiotics like six or seven days now. And uh, I believe it was after 48 hours or something that you're supposedly not contagious. Right. I mean, obviously, if I was going to give 
pneumonia to you or to Julia here, I'd have done that over a week ago, you know, because yeah. I had my chest x-ray, you know, 10 days ago or something. Yeah. And that's where <clears throat> they were showing up from that. So I don't think I would have really been any risk to Lauren, but eh, it is what it is. Yeah. We'll so, be on the safe side. I got a wonderful surprise call yes, this morning. Did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, um, well, Stacy's mom's out in Canada, and we normally go over there every year to visit and have our Christmas dinner and things of that nature. And obviously, we haven't been able to with the border issues and uh, all the things that are going on with the world. And um, they called on, I think it was Facebook Messenger. Yeah, it yeah. was Messenger um, video. Video. Um, so it was kind of like a FaceTime video where you're sitting there chatting through video, which was really nice for Stace to be able to see her mom. I've only Ron. seen my mom once on a video chat, and then their computer broke. Yeah, something was not. And I and I wish I was there, because I could either fix it or bring them something, because I have closets full of things that would work, iPads, all kinds of things. <laughs> you know, and, um, and mailing anything over there is horrendous. And apparently they've got an old Chromebook or something. They were able to figure it out and make it work. So You went and bought a laptop. Oh, okay. I thought I heard Chromebook or something. Yeah. Or maybe they bought a Chromebook. But, uh, yeah, so they were able to figure it out and then through FaceTime video type of thing on Facebook. Right. Some kind of video. I don't, I don't, I don't messenger, use that stuff. Um, I just use the, <laughs> I, whatever you call it, FaceTime, FaceTime on yeah. iPhone, you know. But, uh, yeah, so they were chatting for a long, long time today. Yeah, and, it's a, only the second time in two, two years. Yeah, that you've gotten to see your mom or talk to your mom. Well, talk to your mom all the time. Right, talk to my mom. A couple see times a week, but was nice. to see her face to face and um, yeah, super super nice. Yeah, yeah. So they got to have their little uh, chatting and reminiscing about some of the fun things <laughs> and you know and, how uh, mean my sisters and my brother were was scaring me and oh <laughs> <aw>, yeah. <laughs> and so. then uh, yeah, so after we had a nice sleep in this morning and opened up a few little presents for Julia and for Stace and I. Um, we packed Julia up, took her over to hang out with Lauren for a couple of days. I don't know exactly when. Until New Year's. She's staying until well, New Year's. Yeah, it could change. We could get a call tomorrow and say, come pick us up. Possibly, but I don't think so. And then we just kind of hung out here. Uh, we watched a little bit of, we've been watching 1883, which we've only seen the first two episodes or the only right. two uh, that are out. And it's the prequel to Yellowstone series. And so I figured let's start watching Yellowstone while we're waiting for all these 1883s. And, of course, it's like 100 years later, you right. know, and you got Kevin Costner. And we've never seen Yellowstone, so we watched the first one. And I think tonight we might watch episode two of yeah. season one of Yellowstone. So we, <sighs> we're so, like, new to it all. We're trying to figure out who's related to who and who's a brother, <laughs> who's, you know, a family friend, who's a ranch hand, who's a... So we're trying to figure that out as we go along with it. But we watched the first one. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I was a little lost on the... Character relations, like, is that his brother? Is that her brother? Right. You know, things like that. Exactly. So, but I'm a little slow. I don't know if you've ever seen that whole thing where we talked about sub-sale signs. So, uh, you know, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. So it takes me a little while to absorb who's related to who and how they're related. <laughs> but once I get it, I, I get it. But it, I had to rewind a few times. I'm like, wait, I'm not understanding. Who is this? And how are they related? And yeah. Uh. But it's been a good series so far. We only got what, one episode in. And I think uh, our plan for Christmas here is just to kind of do nothing. Yeah, chill and do nothing. I need just it. Just hang out. You yeah. need it. You work tomorrow, don't you? I work tomorrow, Regular? Yeah. Like yeah. 9 to 5 or something? Uh, no, I'm actually a short day, 11 to 5.30. So. Oh, hey, I'll actually see you tomorrow. Yeah. Sweet. You stuck Maybe with we'll me. watch another Yellowstone. Absolutely. <laughs> or do something. <laughs> and then... Uh, Stacy was telling me after the first of the year, she was going to try and get back into the whole uh, tracking and maybe doing some meal planning. And, and I, I, some of that falls on me. I'm here with more time. I could be trying to learn to make these things. I'd have to watch the videos of the recipes where you make them. <laughs> because here's the problem. I don't measure anything. I don't, I'm good at cooking, but I'm not good at baking because that takes measuring this, measuring that, doing it in this certain order. No. It's not how I cook. I cook, but I don't bake. Yeah. So maybe after the first year, we'll we'll get inspired to here to continue our journey downward instead of staying the same. I've stayed the yeah. same for so many months, I don't even know what to do yeah. other than just not eat. 
<laughs> I need to do like a Dr. Fung, Jason Fung. Yeah. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I, I just need to um, get some weight off me. I'm still a big fatty. Aw. I am. You look good though. Yeah, I've gained. You pretty weight. much stayed in that. Same. I stayed, you know, and it's killing me because I stayed pretty consistent. About one thirty-five ish. One thirty-five to one thirty-seven for over two years. I pretty much stayed at that weight. I've stayed in the three thirties for that probably that same. It feels like yeah. forever, but and, um, and it just feels like once the whole perimenopause went into effect and hormone hormones are moving and changing and. Not a green. Um, yeah. I don't know. And Getting then into your fifties, your metabolism slows down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just messing with you. I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't know what's weird. going on. Too many carbs creeping in from um, non-carb or non-keto, keto-ish. Not low really, carb options. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, like the bread or the right. shells or something. I try and I get. I almost cringe when I see like the carb shells. For taco shells because I want to eat them and I want that. Right. But then at the same time I'm like, ooh, maybe I should just have the meat and cheese because I take it easy on the shells. Yeah. Because is that causing me harm? I don't know. Yep. So we'll have to dig deep and. Deep, deep. <laughs> I just keep refill. I've filled this water bottle like six times today, and it's almost empty again. I yeah. need to go fill it. I I fill it. Yeah. Could be like the kids and just go get a new one each time. It's like, what the heck? Just refill it. <laughs> and we have reverse osmosis water. So we have this really great water thing on the sink. Mm -hmm. You can go right up and just fill this again. I don't know. I guess they're not the ones that have to go to the store, lug the case of water home, bring it in the house, and then, you know, mm -hmm. go do it again in a week because they drank <laughs> 40 bottles of water. But I guess I should be happy to drink of water too. Yes, so. very happy that they're drinking water. I'll just refill mine. Okay. You refill yours. It's kind of like just having a cup. Just refilling the cup. Yeah. Which I do a lot too. You do. Yep. The only reason I grabbed this this morning is I jumped in the hot tub this morning and I was oh, like yeah. sitting there and I'm like, oh, I need some water. And then I grabbed the water and of course, through the day, all day, I <sighs> drink from it. I just keep refilling it. Oh my goodness. Where, my... My shoulder. My shoulders are itchy where the uh, incisions were at. Oh. Orthoscopic things. Yeah, a little like little pinholes, but boy, they itch. Didn't Still. you say you had um, dissolvable stitches, and they didn't dissolve? <laughs> I had on these two here. The one on the back was fine, but these two here, um, I was feeling my shirt kept catching, and I started to feel it. And when I went to the physical therapy, I'm like, I think my stitches are. Coming out. And he's like, they're dissolvable stitches. And I'm like, no. Feel I it. think they're coming out. He, he's going like this. He goes, uh, oh, oh, there's two of them. And I said, yeah. Yeah. I tried to tell you. And so a week later, so it was better immediately because they were very sensitive and inflamed because my shirts are rubbing. You know, every time you move your shoulder, the shirt's rubbing against it. And then another, about another week and a half later, this one right here. Another one came out, and they Poked pulled it out at the physical therapy office. Ooh. Like he, with tweezers or just pinched oh, it? Oh, no, no, they with tweezers. Um, okay. I was like, you have one more try to pull it out, otherwise you're done. Because it was so <laughs> so sore. If you've ever tried to pull a stitch out, and it was at the knot. Oh, my goodness. I was like, you have one more try to get Did that. you see it when they pulled it out? It, yeah, and it was so little. It wasn't even oh. funny. But it was, you know. Makes you feel like a baby because it's like, oh, that was it? But no, it hurts. Yeah, yeah when it's it hurts. sticking out and then it's, you know, irritating the whole little wound there. And I'm the biggest big baby that you know. <laughs> Trust me. I'd be crying. Uh, but but uh, they're all out now? They're out now. They're just itchy um, yeah, around there. So it's the healing. But oh, it's and itchy. We have some, unfortunately, we oh. have some bad news. We have some sad news within the last, what was it? It's been about a week and a half now, wouldn't you say? Just just before last week, so yeah. almost two weeks. We got Bella, who's a great puppy, was learning everything, doing so well. Really, really couldn't ask for a better dog in terms of 
behaving, learning, doing. Mm -hmm. She was crate trained. Yep. She was sleeping through the night. Yep. Doing very well for a young pup at four months old. Mm -hmm. And we started to notice that uh, Julia was having... When very... she was home with us for 10 days. Who? Julia. Okay. That's Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Well... Um, we started noticing that Julia was complaining about her eyes. We didn't know what that was about. We thought she may have been messing with Stacy's makeup because she is 13 <laughs> and kind of starting to mess with mascaras and things. And Stacy says, you need to have your own eye uh, makeups. And, you know, she did get her her own things. And mm -hmm. we didn't know if it was something to do with that. Then we didn't know if it was something like a pink eye or something because um, she just was constantly... Complaining about her eyes were hurting and they hurting were and itching and red, red. And, and we're like allergies maybe, you know, after a few different things. And then um, the dog would always lay out here on the pillows and the blankets on the couch. And Julia came out one afternoon and was laying down watching TV and put her head, head and stuff down with the pillow and the blankets and stuff. And, and it confirmed within maybe 45 minutes or so she got up crying with the the... Uh, eyes were just all puffy like somebody had poked her right. and uh, her arm was starting to rash up and uh, that's the area where the dog lays all the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we were having more and more trouble so we were trying to get her to take Benadryl which is hard when long story short she won't take a pill so we were trying to get something in her get, get the uh, the creams on her arm to try and help the rash and everything and uh, we realized pretty quickly even after doing all the laundry, her bedding, the living room bedding, that the dogs, I don't know if it's the fur, the dander, the dander from yeah. the skin or what exactly, whatever that is or was, wherever the dog is, Julia can't be because within a half hour she's reacting horribly. Yeah, and before all this, our oldest daughter was home. She's allergic as well. But it wasn't as big she, of a deal because she, she not didn't live with here. Us. Yeah, she didn't live so here. So she would have to take Benadryl when she'd come home and um, not have skin exposed. So if the dog didn't touch her, because otherwise she had raised angry areas where the dog would scratch. Yeah. So we, we had just gotten her from the Humane Society and she was still just a little pup with all her shots and very well trained and even knew some fun tricks and everything. Mm -hmm. So when we talked to them, part of our agreement with them as taking the dog from the shelter was to bring right. the dog back to the shelter. So we called them and explained the situation and they were very open and understanding of saying, absolutely, we'll have no trouble adopting, you know, having her adopted. Um, they have a lot of older dogs or dogs that need a lot of medical care. And, and Bella was certainly the perfect dog for somebody and a else's super home. Cute dog. That the, oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how much I missed the dog. Yeah. It was uh, not a good, not a good day. I couldn't even take her in the building. But I hope that. that she's doing really well because they, they seemed extremely confident in saying not she a problem. She never went up on the website. I'm thinking she no, got adopted the same day because we took her in probably, on a Saturday, I think it was. Yeah, probably within the Humane Society, the volunteers, or somebody that they knew, you know, somebody. Yeah, she never even, her picture went up, never even went up or any mm -hmm. of that stuff. So, uh yeah, I'm sure she's doing very well with someone else's family, and hopefully they don't have any issues. Maybe they even have another little dog to keep her occupied or a fenced-in yard that they yeah. can let her run in. That's the kind of things I try and hope that she has for her. But um, And we can't do cats. Stacy's so deathly allergic to cats. So I guess it's just my fish <laughs> that I get to have. You could be my pet. I'll be your pet. You'd be my pet. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm really sad about... Um, her not being here because we tried yeah. so hard and we were doing so well with her and Very. I was thinking you know gosh we got a really smart dog I mean she's learning she'd go right up to the door and ring the bell on the door to tell us to go out and she'd come right up and bark at you and you knew when she'd do that it was time to she go outside something yeah yeah you know, it's usually just outside yeah. yeah so if she wanted food or water she'd go lay by the food or water dish so like oh shoot yeah gotta make sure you have <laughs> time food to water. eat yeah no so uh, not real happy about that, and I don't know. I feel pretty bad about having to take her back. 
But, yep. uh, but it was the right thing to do, and that's the contract we signed. And obviously we said, you know, if we can't take care of her, we will let you guys know. And right. Having what, I don't know how old she was at that point, four months. Four months, yeah, yeah. about four months. In good health with all her shots. We'd been taking her in and getting all the... Microchip shots. Everything. Frontline, heart Spade. guard, everything that yeah. she needed. The next set of shots, I think, was the rabies. And uh, that was coming up like within a week of when we brought her back. But yeah. I, of course, let them all know. And they have all the records. So It was a sad, sad day. Yes. Not a fun time. So we will continue on our keto journey. Mm -hmm. And the next time you'll see us is next year. Mm -hmm. um, my birthday's coming up in January. It is. January 4th. I will be 54 years young. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be beyond all this pneumonia and the COVID junk and all the other crap that we've gone through in the last month. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> beyond that, and then Stacey said we're going to get back into our meals, our yeah. plannings, instead of just eating some whatever and adjusting too because i don't get off until 8 30 at night so it's been really weird it's too late to you know by the time i get home um and he always wants to eat dinner with me so he'll hold out and wait so i gotta get him used to eating dinner with him and julia on my own and <laughs> i made and, eggs the other night me and julia just ate eggs yeah oh there's nothing wrong with it i love breakfast, breakfast for, dinner. for dinner yep it was good yeah, so we'll get it figured out, and you know, the weights will come down. I was feeling fantastic, and then, you know, I still feel pretty good, and yeah, you know, compared to what I was when we started the whole the whole heck, journey. Look at a picture when you were like in the one nineties or whatever, and oh. big difference forty pounds Oof. later. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, I'm still poofy, but I still got some poof. Yeah, got my Santa suit on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because it's Christmas. Yeah, I just got to lose a little bit more. And then yeah. uh, I'll be happier. But I, I, yeah. gosh, I was 442 back bef well before keto. But yeah, and now I'm 335, 336. Yeah. So, you know, that's definitely a lot of weight. over 100 pounds yeah. there. And I'd say with keto, probably about 50, 60 pounds of it has been since keto. Yeah. So slow but sure. I think one the only one good saving grace thing about being as heavy as I ever was and where I'm at now is I never did the yo-yo thing. No. I never did the lose 50, gain 40, yeah. lose 60, gain 80. You know, I never did any of that. It's just came down 30, 40, came down another 20, 30, yeah. came down with this whole keto stuff, a good another 50 or so. But I just not seeing those like, I don't look like a marathon runner. You know, I'm still got my chunk. So I got to get rid of the rest of the chunk. Yeah, and we weren't as active. We didn't go out on bike rides because of my no. shoulder yep. and his back. And yeah, in May I fell. <sighs> I spent two months of recovery from that fall yeah. where I could barely even stand up and walk. Doctors were telling me I had to go have surgery on my back mm -hmm. or deal with the pain with pain medicines. It took me two months before I could even get up and walk again. Yeah. I had to cancel like four or five trips for the whole year. Of, you know, just different yeah. things we had planned and adventures we were going to go on or yeah. that I was going to go on. Had to cancel them. And, yeah, it's just a, gosh, wasn't the best of years. <laughs> let's let's make 2022 a better year. A better year, absolutely. And this, well, I shouldn't say this year because it's still a week away. But in 2022, mm -hmm. we're going to actually get our butts in, in motion and get Christmas cards out for once. Okay. We always plan on it. We always say we're going to do it. We're going to, like... Write a summary letter and send everybody, you know, the cousins, the family and stuff, <laughs> all cards. And then we never, it gets to be like December 20th and we're like, shoot, we forgot. But I have to say, have this to say. year, we got a quarter of the cards that we normally do. So I think it's not just I think us everybody, being in that yeah. funk. I think it's just, you know, that's the last thing on people's mind. And, and we were so sick. All of our stuff's up in the attic. We usually decorate the whole front yard. We put... Yeah. Uh, lights around the windows we decorate the mantle we put the tree up we do all that stuff and the problem is, is we did none of it can't get up in the garage and the attic in the garage nope. so that's me and obviously having the shoulder surgery didn't want to sick worry and, about that yeah. being sick so i'm like okay so we didn't do any of that this year I no elf on the shelf <laughs> Julia, yeah, she's too big for that now yeah. but i did have to go buy new stockings and for the two girls because like i can't get up there and 
dig, you know, pull all those things down to get the stockings and all that. So I cheated and just went and bought new stockings. It's going to be a better year next year. It will be. It will. Yeah. Yep. We we're going to go on some vacations. Maybe. Yeah, we've I'd got like one to plan, plan for February. Yeah, we're going to go I told Virginia. You about that, right? Yeah, Virginia. Yeah, Virginia. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere in Virginia. I don't know. Some timeshare thing. Yep. We still got a lot of those timeshare point Points things. from when my mom passed. She left us a bunch of timeshares. And uh, all we have to do is sign into the system, pick where we want to go, and we can go for a week just to get away from the house for a bit. Yeah. Sit in four other walls. You know. <laughs> Pretty much. So this one we could actually drive to. Yeah. So we're going to drive down to Virginia yeah. and enjoy, I don't know, a week there. Yeah, just four different walls and yeah. different space. And it'll be warmer than here in Michigan where it's going to be cold by that point in February. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to go out for a walk or something. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, hey, everybody have a great Merry Christmas, and I hope that everybody who's doing keto has been able to stick with it and do well. We had pretty simple stuff here, so I don't even know what we're going to do this week while Julie is gone. I'll have to figure something out. Yeah. But I hope everybody's having a good one, and uh, Merry Christmas to you all, and we will catch you next week. Sounds good. Actually, I think we'll catch him on New Year's Day. New Year's Day. I think Saturday. Oh, is that how it's I think Saturday fall? is going to be New wow. Year's Day. So we got like two special editions here. <laughs> Get the Merry Christmas, <laughs> Meow Bitches, you know, everything like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're just going to go back to watching some Yellowstone or something tonight, I think. Nothing major. We're going to cuddle on the couch. I'd like I got my fuzzy blanket behind us. I'd get her into like a Hallmark Christmas movie or something, but she'd just fall asleep. So, yeah. you. Mwah. And right. that's okay. I would. Enjoy your night. Yeah, I got to sleep in this morning. Very different when you don't have little littles. Julia was up and she's like, ah, she goes, I got up at six because that's the time she gets up for school. She got up at six. She goes, I just laid around, had some breakfast and just laid around. So I think we got up about 10. Yeah, we slept um, in. Yeah, it was nice because we don't know how to go to bed on time either, though. No, but uh, <laughs> no, we did good. We slept in and yeah. actually got some rest, which is what we all need. Exactly. I know I need it. So, all right, guys, have a great one. We Merry will see Christmas. you next week. Alrighty, bye. bye.